right, this piece is the anti-lift poles, and uh, as you take it off the cart, it looks like this. So uh, what we'll do here is we're just going to slide it into the base. I'm going to slide it in. All right, go ahead, Ty, and take your setup. So as Ty takes a setup, what we want to do, if he's using an iron here, what we want to do is we want to slide the pole out. We want to slide the base out pretty much as far as it can go, okay? And then I'm just going to go ahead and lock that down. Now, you notice there's two sides to the pole. There's this, the left side and the right side. So depending upon what you're working on, and we'll set it up right now just for the backswing side. So as you have an adjustment at the bottom, that slides the pole back and forth. And what you want to do is you want to adjust the pole so that when you tip it over, it's approximately about one to two inches right from his shoulder here, okay? Now, you don't want to get the pole too far away. If the pole is sticking out too far, it would be there's a possibility of danger of him going beyond the pole. And I'll kind of show you that in a moment here. So adjust this so it's right next to the shoulder. Then we're just going to go ahead and lock that down. And then I'm just going to extend the pole out. Okay, so go ahead, Ty, and to make a backswing here. And so basically what this is doing, go ahead and start again, is this is giving him feedback if he lifts. So if you have a student that's lifting their arms too high, then you can use this pole. And what we like to do is we like to see the left arm on the same line as the shoulders. Okay, now go ahead and make a real flat swing. So if he, if he turns in too low, then for people who take the club too far in, you can actually use it to go ahead and let them touch this. So go ahead and take your setup, take it back and lift. Okay, so that might be something that you would do in, a, in a, using the pole in the opposite manner to get somebody to get their arms in the right place. So basically that's how you want to do, do the backswing side. If the pole was, was uh, too far away or adjusted too far away, and it wasn't quite high enough, go ahead and take it back and go beyond it, go all the way back. So there might be a chance that he could come down and hit this or move over the top. So that's why you want to go ahead and you want to extend the pole out and then you want to move this again over closer to the shoulder. Okay, now go ahead and make a backswing again. There you go. So now his hands can't go beyond that. So that would be what you would use this pole for on the backswing. Then on the front side, we have the same setup, and for better players who have a tendency to get their arms to go too high, you would just set this up exactly the same way. You could match it up, extend the pole, so now it controls the path of the arms on the follow-through side. <clears throat> Go ahead and make a swing right on through. Okay, and so you can also, on this side, this pole probably doesn't need to be quite as high because there's no way to get beyond it, all right? So that, and basically what you do then is you take a look at the measurements for the student, both on how far out this uh, piece slid and then how, uh, what adjustment that you would make here on the sides. And that's how they would set it up to use it themselves. How's that feel? Feels pretty good. All right.